I've just got my feet on it. <laughs> so I'm just sat here with my feet on the dog's cool mat. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in the middle of um, uh, having a conversation with Anne, Anne and Gordon. And yeah. um, I said, got to go zoomies. And she said, OK, love to all there. <laughs> yeah, she, oh, thank you. She texted me yeah. earlier because I and said that they're um they're staring out over fishing lake at Ilfracum. Yeah. Oh right. She did yeah. put a caveat at the bottom. Still bloody all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. Yes. Is, is it hotter in a caravan, Chrissy? It's like a tin can, isn't it? It's, yeah. Yeah. It's it is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Even though they've got light, I suppose. The thing to do is, I was watching yesterday and they were saying, mm -hmm. shut the windows, mm -hmm. close the curtains. Mm -hmm. You don't want the heat coming in, you want to keep it out. If you open all the windows, all you do is let all the heat in. Well, I'm sat in my where I am now, and that is the, the windows open, and that is the only curtain that's open in the house. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. a little bit of light in, otherwise mm -hmm. I have to put the light on. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. yes. So I took their advice and I put a big piece of um, aluminium. You know what's it called? Silver foil or whatever is bubble. Yeah. The stuff they use for um. Windshields, car windshields. No, it's, it's, a bit like, oh. it's a bit like that, yeah. But I've got a big roll of this stuff. They use it for um, insulation in lofts and buildings. It's not normal. Yeah, reflective. So yeah. I, I got some bath shower rail hooks and hooked it on the top of the <laughs> curtain rail to see if it made any difference. Apart from the fact that it? like, it's, got, it's got darker in here now. <laughs> <laughs> that is I went out. I took. I've been taking the dog out earlier to, at the moment. Yeah, because it's cooler. Because I didn't know that dogs. Chrissy sent me the thing. I think, or someone did. No, someone else. That dogs actually sweat through their paws. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But taking yeah, them out for for a walk on, especially if it's Hot tarmac and that poor thing has ain't got a chance, have they? No. If I don't get out at the moment, if I can't get out by half past seven, they go without. Yeah, I think that's a wise move. I was out there uh, 10 to 10 to 8 over on, yeah. the, but it's, um, it's there's trees all the way around the, the park. Yeah, that's, uh, that's lucky park with on me. The pavement yeah. And he's only got two foot and he's on the grass. Yeah. The into well, not, he, well, he's very happy. <laughs> if I didn't take him, he'd be very unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> well, little Ralph, he can't walk very far. So if mm. he wants to go out, we normally make it maybe to the bottom of the drive and back up again. Mm. Um, and I chuck him indoors and take Leo out on his own. He didn't like it at first, but he's got used to it now. I think he realises it's for his own good. <laughs> yeah, I think um, oh. I can usually with Frodo, but it's like that says on the the flyer that went round was like the dog will still try and run, walk, keep up with you, and do all it, but it shouldn't be doing it, you know. And then oh. next thing you know, it's got it, tongues hanging out. And the little Frodo, I've got this routine with him. I've got um. Spear and Jackson, I think it's a litre, it might be two litres, um, pump action spray for the garden that I use, you know. Yeah. And it's got a little click on it, and if you click it, it continuously goes out. So I've got, me and the dog's got this routine now. It's because he's, he's, he can, it's just the right height for him. So it, I'd switch it on and leave it on, and he just sits there. He's got his <laughs> own personal water fountain. Oh. <laughs> nice, gentle spray coming out. Yeah. yeah, he demands that. Yeah, clean water as well. Yeah, so I never put stuff in in those. They're, I've got two or three of them that I thought. You know what it is? You buy one, you think, oh, and then it conks out. So you try to fix it, it didn't fix. So you buy another one, 
And in the meantime, the first one suddenly decides to fix itself. Oh, wow. That one, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I can't get my head around it. So I've got, actually got three now, two that work and one that's intermittent or undecided. So <laughs> God, God. We did get, that's funny, Joyce sent me a thing saying, we've done the painting of Boris. And what happens? <laughs> On the Tuesday morning, by lunchtime, he's gone. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> it was bad, but it shouldn't yeah. be to be around. <laughs> to totally responsible, Dave. <laughs> so, yeah, good move, Dave. Does anybody you want rid of, let me know. <laughs> oh. I mean, uh, I don't mean dispatched. I mean, like... <laughs> How about Vladimir Putin? He'd be there. Yeah, yeah that, that's yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> that would work. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. <laughs> right, you're on, yeah, girls. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, that was that was that was me. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you chalk pen worked well, wow. didn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah, it was good. Oh. I got the wrong mm. picture up. Hang on. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Have you got a license for that? No, I haven't. Oh, there it is. Oh. That's the one I want. Right, here we go. Whoops, wrong pitch. Oh, there he, here he comes. He looks like Henry the oh. <laughs> oh, I, I, I love that one. I think it's fabulous. Yeah. Thank you, Joyce. <laughs> yeah, I think Lovely. it's just great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, was... I, I was trying to make him look older, but I. I by the time I sort of put the shading in that in. Um, yeah, that's yeah. Nice. yeah, yeah nice. Just, he kept going young gugging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I sent you I sent you another one, didn't I, Dave? But I didn't have that he wasn't quite such a pointy chin as that one. I did oh, no. uh, alter it slightly. I don't but... think I've got that. I don't think I've got the other one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's like yeah. yeah. Oh, I spent ages on that. I like the background best. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. It's fabulous. I that, yeah. That was yeah. with those brush yeah. Brush oh, was it? Oh, oh yeah. right. Yeah. It worked, worked well. Yeah, it was good fun. Mm. It, did. I, it was unintentionally, but it came out like a night sky. So I thought, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. It <laughs> like a night sky. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? it look like this sort of. Something like they're building in the background or something. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like a little accident, but yeah. Mm. A happy accident. It yeah. was a very happy accident. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. doing that. It's good. Mm. Yeah. I do enjoy doing portraits. Yeah. Mm. You won't like the next one. <laughs> what portrait? Mm. Oh, oh dear. I, I thought we'd <laughs> I thought we'd carry on with the political theme because there's loads of really interesting figures to do mm. be nice to do maggie wouldn't it yes mm. it's our joyce yeah i, I both do up you together joyce. Joyce. That's <laughs> yeah. A bit of... yeah very good a bit yeah. Thank you. I, want. I i felt got a uh, black eye there <laughs> oh. <laughs> true I wanted him to look miserable, so I chose the original one that you had. <laughs> and then I just went mad with the other one. Yeah. I don't think there's I don't think PMQ is on tomorrow. I think they've packed up for summer now, haven't they? Mm. Don't see his... don't I don't watch, I'm afraid. No. I know. It's quite nice that. Yeah, it's lovely. Thank you. Very subtle. I enjoyed doing that. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I've, I've, he's been a. He's got the lovely expression in that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hoped it was miserable and haunted. I hoped. <laughs> it's like you're saying, "Who me?" <laughs> 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 yeah, I think he did that a few times, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> More like the game's up. Yeah. It must yeah. be 
it's, it's sort of, I don't know, I don't know, it's probably happened in the past, I don't know, but he must be the only prime minister I know that, that sacked himself effectively. Because all he had to do was say, put his hand up a few times and say, you're absolutely right, I screwed up there. Um, I like that, yeah. Nice expression. That must be Pauline, is it? Yeah, it came in yeah. late last night, late yesterday, that one. Yeah. I'm going to start mine soon. I haven't had time, as I said. <laughs> I've actually been oh. out a couple of times last week, so that was nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very good. Anywhere nice? Or... Well, because I've joined this carers group at Lewis Manning. Oh, um, right. So I go, it's only once a month. So this week they decided to take us out. So they took us over to Christchurch, only three of us. And then we went for lunch at the captain's table. Oh, so wonderful. Oh, oh. Ice cream and a taxi back. And they paid for it all. Wow. wow. Fabulous. Yeah, it's really nice. And then um, my daughter had a barbecue on Saturday. My niece was down. I was trying to get Peter there. And then at the last minute, no, I'm not coming. So my da mm. other daughter stayed and with Peter and I went over. Had a few drinks and barbecue. Mm. That was nice. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, yeah. I'm glad to hear that you're getting out. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, it doesn't happen every week. But... No, no, I'm sure. I don't think I'll ever get paid Peter into care. I don't know. He won't. I don't think he would ever go. So perhaps mm. I could find somebody that would come and live in for a week if I went away. I don't know. There, there must be people out there that do that. Mel, worried. Mel, Mel always thinks that. She probably says that about me. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to come in for a week while I. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Isn't dear. there anyone in the in the Lewis Manning like the support group that you can talk to about it? Um, I haven't gone down that line. They would send somebody up for a couple of hours to sit with him, but he doesn't really want that. I don't know. He's, no. he's a bit of a private man, really. He doesn't like all this. Yeah, it's so hard, isn't it? Mm. So the carer we've got, she's really nice. And um, they've got her through a care company. But um, she, she only works the, the two days. And then in the holidays, she has Wednesday off. So I'm back doing it because Peter Woke doesn't like anybody else. So mm. it's difficult. Mm. It is Very difficult. difficult. And then, like this morning, I've been into him and I thought, oh, I hope he wants to lie in. If he doesn't, I have to go and get him up. So, yeah. But anyway. We plod on. <laughs> we do. Yeah. There's, yeah. No, there's no way around it. No. We're stuck with that one. Well, it's easy enough to look after, but it's just that you've got to do it every day. And you're on mm. call 24-7. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it obviously he does have these bad days and things happen, but you know. He's not today? grumpy oh, with it, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Today's subject, I mean, we should be able to knock this out in the next one. No, Sean. Mm. I love your optimism, Dave. Mm. <laughs> I was saying to Mel about it, should I put some more bits, figures in it and all this sort of stuff? And she said, do I? Leave it alone. It looks quite nice. Yeah. Let's see how quick we can all do it. We just have a couple of hours. <laughs> couple of hours. <laughs> really, or bit, not even that. You see what happens. <laughs> well, it's starting now. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I think the secret got to be to say, well, you know, paint it how you feel, not a, you know, did a lot of it's about technique, though, isn't it? I'm in a confidence. But if you look at the picture, I mean, it's always worth a, a thought, you know, and break it down into some, the, there's some posts and things in the front. I'm not putting them in, I'm not worried about that. Um, it's just beach as far as I'm concerned. The thing, I said on my thing, it's such a really, 
I lived, I walked up and down there every day for, for years to work. And I very off, very rarely saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I bought her stuff. It was like, go, it goes right out, doesn't it? It's, I think it's the, the second furthest, you know, the tide goes out in the world at Western Superman. Oh. There's that place they do all the cockling and the tide comes in really quick. That's not there, is it? No, that's up by Morecambe. Oh, because a lot of people, they got trapped mm. in. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. Morecambe, yeah. Morecambe Bay. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. They've got uh, lots of quicksand as well. Pretty horrendous oh. uh, place. Yeah. Look out. Here we come. Well, we'll go, shall us see what happens. We're recording. If my if my image stops shout, so I'm gonna just zoom this in so I can see it in the background. If I if I think about looking, just to zoom in for the island a bit, really. It's um Randy, isn't it? Randy Island. Steep, or is it flat on? Steep home on flat on? I don't know. I'll have to look. That's your homework. <laughs> Tell me what the idea is. I can't see it. Is that that little thing at the back? Is that the island? I don't yeah. can't see the picture, can we? Hang on. Oh, there we are. That, um, little, yeah. that little blob there. Hang yeah. on. I've got my, <laughs> my other thing on. That looks just like shadow, shadow, shadow. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I was intrigued as to what the object in the sky was. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Yeah, I think it's it's a gull, I think. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Sight? Where's that then? Oh, up there. Oh, yeah, I can yeah. see it. <laughs> just up here. Yeah. I looked at it earlier and I zoomed in on it. It looks it looks most peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even drawn this one yet. You do it so all our faces don't come up on the screen when we talk, please. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I forgot to yes. do that. Yes. Well done, we miss what you're doing. <laughs> Somebody's. Nice. Someone's on the ball. I do love your bedroom, Carol. It does look very classy. Oh, this is very nice. It's yes. cool downstairs and it's lovely and cool down here. Poor Peter's upstairs in the hot bit. Oh, wow. There you are. We're spotlighted now. Really good. Just yeah. stuck my finger in a thing of paint. I, I did shopping before I go too far into this. Oh. <laughs> bought some more four more of those chalk markers mm. yeah. nice well i quite enjoyed the white on the hair so i thought mm, maybe we could use some a few of the other colors it was only like a tenner i thought oh well speculate to accumulate right i'm gonna want to sketch something at least put a few lines down I've got that. There's something else I want to go that's now go and walk about. I'm really organised, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. Usual. Nice. I have my little pad, that's cool. Oh, my little pad. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh, well. Oh, little pad. Sometimes, because he's only A5, he just, he sort of dissolves into nothing. I don't want to use a good piece of paper straight off the pad. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
bit like that. So I've got this pad anyway. This is supposed to be a watercolour pad. But it isn't. Sometimes, well, quite often, before you start, you look at the one, think up some colour, make some colour notes. The predominant one, <clears throat> from my perspective, or what I'm looking at, is thinking, how do you get all this? Mm -hmm. These sort of subtle colours. So my thinking was if you make the paper damp first, was to use some fresh tone, which I keep saying is the source of quite a lot of. So is a combination, you could actually go right down into the water because it will reflect down there, it's in the, the sea. The other thing is we need to, to establish some dark. So blue, ooh, that's a bit of sepid, cobalt blue and some burnt sienna. This is where the personal preference bit comes in. It's to decide how, how much blue to have in it. It's not working very well on this paper because it's all cockling, but, but you want the yellow bit or the, the flesh to stick, to come through the background. So that's not far off what I'm after. But to my eye, I think, the horizon in this area this strikes me as being a bit of a different tone. So I'm just going to just put blue on that, I think. Hmm, that would give me a rough idea. And the sea is really a little play on the colours that we mix for the sky. I think the beach could be raw sienna, maybe a little bit of the flesh underneath and the raw sienna. And say, right, we're going to reflect it, reflect the sky. So I'll add a bit of blue, knowing that the raw sienna will turn the, the blue grey. So that's about three colours, really, isn't it? That, that'd do. Be nice to leave a little bit of um, the light colour of on the beach at where it meets, meets the, the the water. But looking at that, it could do with less in situ post-it note, isn't it? And get back to the studio and do the painting proper you know you've got a little note but equally you can do it from the photo as well yeah that'll do obviously it won't be like that on the paper we've got plenty see the way that tone is that gray watercolor it just wash it just soaks away we can't have to watch out for that it fades once it soaks into the paper. So that's basically all we're going to do, isn't it? And then stick a bit more, a bit more organised. But at least it gives me, I've got a little bit of colour guide map for that in this system. I know what I'm doing now. I'm on a roll. Should be all right. Don't forget we've got you can always tissue things out, look for highlights. I think the sun's over there. And over there. Mm, well, mine, it's gone up into there. 
Yep. So that's it. We're on a roll, yeah? yeah exactly what we're going to do. Follow the... Follow that. That dries. Be interesting tomorrow when I look at it. I think, oh, that was good. What happened to the to the proper one? Nearly <laughs> 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 always like that, especially when it, in the evening when it's dried back really well. I've just stuck my hands all over it, so it's gone. And just put tidy it up, and the rest of it is detail. That's the early part of the picture done, anyway. So at some point, ooh, splash, splish, splash, blush, make a decision where I'm going to put, of course, it's a portrait, it's a, a really long, thin landscape picture, but obviously, I always find I'm going to use, obviously, a, being a long landscape, we're going to compress it down, so I'm just going to ignore all that. But what I'm going to do is put a pencil line across for an horizon. And I will put the island. Must be. Somebody Google what the island is. Must be. I don't know if it's steep home or flat home or. Or Lundy. But this there is a hint over over here of Wales. Hello, it's Cardiff B. No, it's not. It's Cardiff right over over here somewhere. That's more the end, isn't it? South Wales, anyway. Can't in the bridge because it's not really a, the sea is it it's bristol channel which is slightly a lot of people just call it an estuary <laughs> taking the nickel right mix up some color and splish splash blush i think what i will do i've got this old bit of board here it's going to mix up a little No, I'm going to make it wet first. There we go then. For a penny and for a pound. Splish splash. And then juicy brush. I'm using this one quite often for um, these long firm washes. In this tea, everything dries so quickly there, doesn't it? Even for acrylics, it must be terrible. That's why in Australia they develop those um, acrylics that you can re-wet. They seem to, to have fizzled out. There was a fad where they people were using them. I remember... Um, Remember Luke? Luke from the club? No. He, he used to have his son was in Australia and he was bringing them back and he was using them. You could sort of, acrylics that you can sort of paint with. And I don't know if it had an activator or a deactivator or something like that. And you could spray it the next day and it would start and it would reactivate them so they were usable again. Strange but true. So, lost my palette. No, I haven't. There he is. Come on. Stick with my, my little note. Just stuck a big blob of water on the reference picture. Loads of it. More at the top, isn't it? So he puts a load at the bottom. But the horizon, painting the drawing on horizon line helps a lot. Mm. 
I'm conscious that it fades, so I'm going to stick a watch of paint on. Have It's Okado day today, I've been informed. You might, I, I did think about it earlier that um, one of the colors that traditionally I would have used in this would have been um, Naples yellow. So it's almost like I'm using the flesh instead of Naples yellow now. All right. In for a pound, in for a fiver. Let's mix up some burnt <laughs> sienna and blue. I've gone stronger on the blue. Hmm. Tell you what, thinking about it, I'm going to stick a little bit of blue, a little very fine wash of blue underneath first. Not everywhere, but might have to spray me paper in a minute. The more I look at this, <laughs> the more colours I see in the in the reference picture. It's most distracting. Mix up some surprise. How much of this? This paper is so absorbent. Surprised it doesn't do sound effects, sort of a, <laughs> it's gone. Don't want to make it too gray, that's all. So what I might do, I'll give it a go anyway. Is that a bit of rose to it? especially as it fades over this side. My board's not at a particularly steep angle, really, because I didn't want to distort the picture as I'm doing it. Yeah, I like that. That's just a little bit of rose matter, Alzerian crimson into the into the grey, warms it up a little bit. Cool. Can't paint sky, you just got to go with the, your feelings, really. A bit more blue, I think, at the bottom. Like I said on my Try not to paint, overpaint Wales. They're going to change the law in Wales. So it's 20 mile an hour speed limit. What it was? Yeah, most of it, rest, you know, the area is 30, isn't it? Most places. I think it's coming in next year or by September next year. Mm -hmm. A lot of people whinging about it. Well, I must admit, a bit more that colour. Must admit, I tend to I tend to do about 2025 20, <laughs> anyway. Don't go that far. This is um a bit more quite therapeutic really. Hello, you got the Ocado, Ocado map What was that? I can hear Frodo. Has that's Ocado not, arrived? That's not Frodo. Isn't it? No, that's... That's another dog. That's people over the back, over the, at the front. So I've got one of the windows open. Ah. 
Yeah, I think um, adding a little bit of crimson really makes it. Right, let's see if we can. Somebody's not happy. I don't know. It's all right, it's just people walking by in my cold sack. <laughs> Well, if you're a little nipper and it's you're in the pram and it's scorching hot, gonna protest a little bit, I suppose. Yeah. Now's the fun bit, isn't it? Is while it's damp, is trying to um, decide on what to keep and what not to keep, tidying up bits of fluff, turn up. Just clean water. See if I'm gonna just lift a few bits off. I tried I've kept the little bit of whales that I've dim uh, done clean. There's a little white line there. And the island. When I when I was making it all wet, the little straight line, the horizon line that I put helped a lot because I don't know what it is. But if you've got a line painted there, you can draw, you can follow it with the brush really easy. If you try to do it at random, it just flows down. Which I didn't really want to do. Make it two distinct things. I've got to run back here or run down, I suppose, where the angle of the board is. Um, I'm leaving that. So that's going to dry. And there's a few others over here that's teasing, teasing me to stay. So they, they're going to stay. It's a bit darker over there. There's a flipping hair just about there, which I'm not going to touch. Can't be a brush. It's a, a rosemary brush. They wouldn't do something like that, would they? Now, looking at back to my original, my little sketch, I decided to. Um, some that the same fleshy tone from the sky so i'm going to do the beach now clean water the brush this it's really solid it's narrower than it looks isn't it the actual proportion of the image it's slightly that's slightly wider than that so I think I'll make it a bit thinner. There must be a reason for that because I'm attracted to the picture and that must be part of it. So I'm not, not going to mess it about. <laughs> so we've done it in one stage, two stage, slowly rise up till I feel that the straight lines where I want it to be, shoreline. Almost paint thinking in reverse, isn't it? I know where the water is, but I'm not painting it yet. Oh, wish I hadn't mentioned going for a dip in the pool. <laughs> oh. I'll have to get tempted. I bet you if you try to get a 
garden paddling pool from Argos. It'd be sold out, wouldn't it? Every granddad on the planet was buying them up to go for a cool dude paddle. I used to do it all the time when I was at Western Supermare. Come home, straight, <laughs> open a bottle of can of beer or something and sit there on the, in the paddling pool. <laughs> Just me underwear on. Oh, <laughs> Too much information. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Could go darker, couldn't I? For the the shore. I was just tempted. I just put a bit of burnt umber into the blue instead of the raw sienna to make a a richer dark. But it's the same. Um, procedure or process as the sky, really. These um, brushes are brilliant, little mop brushes for this sort of thing, I think. Looking for streaks, aren't we? Nothing radical here today. <laughs> but it doesn't make it less complicated or less, matter of fact, It's a bit of a waiting game as well. I, go, I want some really dark, dark. So then add a bit of green into the burnt umber. See if that helps. If that doesn't help. It's burnt umber, blue and green. Should get a nice dark colour. As I say, the only thing downside with these brushes is that they soak up so much paint as you're mixing it, you can't actually <laughs> tell exactly what colour you're ending up with because it soaks up. I think I went in red then, it's, never mind. So I'm just going to see if I can get a fine. No, I can't. Dark, some really dark. I'll get my little blower out in a minute, I think. See if I can blow it along. It's quite therapeutic, this. Still loads of decisions to make, though. Because as it's as the because I made it really wet like the sky as it's drying, the paint is absorbing in different different areas in different ways, which are making me see different tones. It's quite a contemporary sort of feel to it. This. Hmm. The issue I've got is if it's if the lines because at the moment the the um, paint's running down towards the base. Well, if you're not careful, it can look like grass or foliage. You know that sort of feel to it. So I think if you, it's just blue and I've stuck with the same three colours. I'm just putting a bit on the end of the brush and letting it just try and draw some, try and leave these. If you see, like you get it like a, a, a light hairy area, hairier? <laughs> <laughs> a light area. Any light areas sort of that you think they might help, just leave them. 
It's not easy because you actually because I'm not painting any water yet. Right. What I'm gonna do is to for a sec, turn it up horizontal. See what happens, see if I can get it to run. If there's any water left in there, to run down. Ah, oh, there's that pad I was looking for, underneath the... Yeah, because you can see that there was a, a doodle that I was, that I did to, just to see what the effect of the, using the flesh on the, you know, within the sky works quite well. I'm holding this up vertical, see if it'll run. Any paint that's there. Grab it off. Not a lot to see at the moment. Well, it looks, it looks pretty, pretty all right on the screen, but I'm looking at it. Seems to have the, the desired effect. What could do, or what I'm going to do, just out of interest. So I've got a palette knife. See if I can just, if I drag it across, try it at the bottom. Does it give me any... Maybe I should have been a plasterer. Mm -hmm. Scratch out any. Mm, not, not really. We do get some sort of highlights within the. Because it's still soaking wet. Use the end of the paintbrush, it'll probably do the same thing. I go all the way along. It'll I'm covering my base. Because now I can say if I don't if I mess up the C I've got some little wavelets. At the, at the front, how about that? Well, it just points me in the right direction. Well, I'm happy because I'm whistling. <laughs> <laughs> when a plan comes together, you got to celebrate. <laughs> but it's not many colours involved here today, so I'm just sticking with burnt sienna. The blue and the flesh, really. Okay, to get a dark, I added a bit of green and burnt umber to the same mix. But really, it's down to your own eyesight and own feeling to say, right, how, what sort of a different tone of dark do I want? Actually, looking at it, I was just looking, I'm looking at this island thing. I think what I might do. Is, um, what might be nice, take a little bit of the flesh. Oops. Um, have a think about it. And say, well, I think the lightest is, is lighter on the left. I'm just going to put a little bit of the flesh tone there and then drop in some really dark bits much blue much blue much burnt a little tad of burnt sienna da -da, which is quite i'm just going to drop it in because i'm okay because the water 
the lot well below the the line that I've done isn't wet, so it should just sit there. Just to drop it in. Trouble is where we live, I've got my my Angusbury head view brain. I see because that's just a little portion of Hengisbury head to me. <laughs> You know what I mean? If I look out across the harbour, walk over Stampit Marsh, or which is around the corner, but I'll stick with that theme. So I've just put a little bit of flesh tint on on Wales. Just going to make it a bit more. Just drop it in. I think Wales look more interesting. Show it up a little bit. And just drop it in it. There's some little bits at the bottom of that. The, the flesh tone is giving it a bit more depth. That's it, man. Some flu, flu blue bits here. I'm just going to where those little tidy bits are i'm going to stick some shadow underneath them it's a bit like chess isn't it you're trying to think a couple of moves ahead <laughs> nice colors though i think you i think if anything out of today's sort of workout you're not painting in monochrome monochrome but you're definitely painting with a distinct distinctly limited um palette i'm just going to blow the hair dryer nice day for a hair dryer isn't it just going to dry that island off before i tackle the water because I want to put some clean um, wash of water on it. Oh, I'll make it down. How hot is this? I'm going to do a little bit. Okay. Well, that's the easy bit done. Now it's the blooming hard bit, isn't it? Some would say. Find some clean water. <laughs> that's clean water. Oh my gosh. Can't wait to get to the dirty stuff. <laughs> um, I think it, it's not the water, I think it's the brush. As I say, these mop brushes are great. But they soak it up big time. I'm not going to go right to the forehead. For sure, four line. I think I'll stick with the theme though. Nice bit of, oh, nice bit of flesh. Drop it over. Well, I'm just looking at the reference image to decide where the light, any light bits are. 
You can be nice. There's a few bits over here. Put it on there, lift it off. Need a clean tissue. And lift a few of those bits off. Okay. Just look for some highlights. Shimmering. The alternative, of course, is to um, whack a bit of masking fluid over everything. So not great. Fan off. As Carol will attest to. Mm -hmm. Don't upset her. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked all right for me last time. It did, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I put it on a bit thicker. I think perhaps I've been putting it on too thin. You can go to rub it and there's nothing there. <clears throat> I always find the, the fun bit is afterwards when you're rubbing the skin off the top of your nail, off your fingers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is find a bit of card. I think that'll do. Just put it down. It's just a bit of that grey. I didn't want it to go too far down. Just something to guide my... Sometimes things work and sometimes things don't. So just throw it, throw it away and do it by hand. Just remembered I tried the bottom. I was trying to do it so I didn't make put my arm in this bit at the bottom. And I just I forgot I dried it, didn't I? So it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. In. Just thought it'd be nice to leave a a little bit of a white edge where where the where the, at the very far horizon, but looking at it, it's starting to look a bit misty, look a bit daft. So I've gone off that idea. Maybe a piece of tape might have cheered me up for a minute. It's a funny thing, actually. You are. Some days you have this. You have the straight, straight line arm of a surgeon, and other days it's like, why can't I draw a straight line? Funny. But these brushes are so they got this really fine point on them, so you can tease away and get a really fine line. Well, kind of too bad. Find the rigor. Wasn't there a minute ago? And just more of that colour, really, isn't it? Just look at what we've got. Drop it in. The ideal. I think 
on reflection, looking back, the better option would be, would be to load this brush out. I'll show you on a bit of paper. The better, mm, worth a try anyway, be to load this brush up or the, which a, a larger brush and just do it dry on the paper. But like all good things don't work. <laughs> Sorry about that. This isn't rough paper. It's not, it's dead smooth. So you can't get that dry brush effect. Whereas on, oh, I can use the back of one of these. Whereas on this stuff, it's just got a rough, well, it's not, it's a not finish. If you just go straight over onto the rough, get some paint on your brush, might help. Amazing. Bit of blue, bit of burnt sienna. Any excess, just tease it off. Yeah, if, if you've got not finish and it's dry, it's not been wet, and then go like that, you'll get those sparkles, wave sparkles. So there's a compromise. Then if you one, you've got a few there. Can clean water on it and soften those spark, even soften the in betweens of the sparkles down. So, on reflection, it would have been a better way to do it on there. So, what I'll do is I'll dry it off and do the same thing quickly. And try blue. Into my mix. Just go for it. Chicken dirt. Trying to look at this side. Nothing more to say. Once you get a nice bit on the brush, just keep going. Trying to get some of this where those lines are. Get the odd. One that's like a happy accident. <gasps> Too high. Years ago, I would have put masking tape along the horizon. The only problem with that is when you pull it off, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> you get to that, it'd be, there's always one part of it that tears the paper or it's drizzled underneath and you think well what was the point of that it's all all about having a a nice combination of paper masking fluid masking tape 
uh, adhesiveness. It's all in the luck, and you, you never get it. Never comes the same twice. Not in my experience. You think you've cracked it. You do one picture, and it comes out brilliant. And then you think, right, I've, I've worked out a technique now. So you, <laughs> you do a video and tell the world about it. This is how you do it. And the next time you do it, it goes total rubbish. Not much to do this picture, really, once you get into it. But it then. The, thing, the one thing about it is that it's it's demanding on your technique. What's it look like on the screen to you guys? Yeah, good, that's fun. Because it's really frustrating to decide when when there's enough to know. The um, okay. yeah, I like that. It's not easy to leave the um, the, the little to get that um, warm underglow that's over us, oh, warm reflective feel on the on the waves on the on the water what color is it you decide we've got a little bit of flesh with some rose madder in that's just which is what I used in the sky. So I'm pretty confident that I can use, I just mixed it up here. Just a little, you can just put a little bit of that with some flesh. I think that's peach there, but sand will do it as well. Any of these pastel tones that we keep in our parrot, just put a little into into that thing on the waves because we know we've got it in the sky that's just so it's local color just there's a little bit of warmth to it but it's, it's gordon i tell you it's typical western super mary when you go there and the tide's out you've got a job to tell which is to where it starts and where it ends so in this, in that respect, I think I've achieved quite well. Then, but sometimes you get a piece of colour on your brush that kind of works. So just utilise it, even on the background. I'm quite pleased that I left a little bit of white there on the the Welsh coastline. Just adds a little, and there's a teeny wing bit on the island yet to be, be named. Dave, it's time for me to go, so I will say thank you and um, yeah, catch up. up next week. Well, this is a nice, simple one for you. Oh, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> we feel so. Right. Everybody stay cool if possible. Yeah, See I you next time. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. See you next time. Bye. 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 Sometimes you do a bit and you think, oh, that's a nice, I mean, that's a nice colour. I like that. So if I take, it's to you sort of, you take it. It's just rose madder and a little bit of flesh. It gives a sort of, I don't know, an off, an off world pinky color, which is rather nice. I've got, I've got the urge. I've got, oh my God, he's got an urge. Let's get that big brush back. 
and make the sky wet again quickly. No messing about. Very not pressing hard on the brush. And take some of this. I'm not better off using a flat brush, but I'll, I'll take it that pinky colour and just add it into the sky, especially over here, I know. You know, it's what more was... So, yeah. Get it to go right straight across. A bit down a bit there, yeah. That do. And this portion of sky here, I think I'll make it a bit darker. Uh, we can play with that till the cows come in. Ooh, where have I been? Mm, bits that are poking in here. Just wanted it to look a bit more dramatic than it already was. That did. It will dry back nice. Notice I haven't touched any of that bit. I've left that alone. And if, if that bit needed anything, it would just be a bit of just a very fine little bit of the fleshy tone. Got to be careful there. Do. Right, early shower. Mm. What's it look like with a doodle around? I've got a doodle. Oh. Just highlight it out. Yeah, that's lovely. Simple but effective, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Chase the mood. This one I started with. That looked very well. All night. Can't tell what it's like. Over to you guys. I'm not going <laughs> to do anything like. You could put some spatter in it, but I don't want to make it look like one of my normal beach scenes. I'd rather it was oh, hang on. looking at it. Fair. Yeah, hang on a minute. Need to clean water on this area. It was drying back with a line, with a straight line. I don't want the Welshman staying too dry, get that rain on them. It always rains in Wales. Yeah. That's why it's dark sky over there. Obvious, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. What's occurring? It's bloody raining again, isn't it? There you oh. go. Lovely job, Oh, right. I haven't, I haven't had any phone calls asking me who I'm voting for for the Tory leadership, but... Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Sat a lot of them. Huh. I haven't looked at it. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Looks good, doesn't it? It does. Always well, makes it look so easy. I know. Oh. <laughs> yes, it'll be interesting to see how the cameras all turn out. Yeah, mm. I think it's. It's looking a bit ready pinky there, but it's not in 
it's not that really, really pink. It's the cameras making it do that with the light. Mm. Definitely warmer colour than that. Mm. In the um, in the uh, image you sent, the sky was much bluer above Wales, wasn't it? I don't know whether. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've got that as well. In the one yeah. I printed out. I don't know. I see, I did start off with putting blue on that area because of that yeah. that thing. But it, the camera is, or maybe it's because I've got the curtains shut or something. But the camera's not giving it. The, um, the light it deserves. It's not as pinky as that. It always looks, the colours always seem to look different when we send them to you than what they are. Yeah. When you're looking at them in real life. <laughs> the pain of the art, artist's life, isn't it? Yeah. Trying to get those colours how it, how it actually is. You know, well, at uh, least I haven't got to look at my Boris anymore. <laughs> one, of my, my, uh, one of my friends is a real fan, so when she came around the other day, I gave it to her. <laughs> <laughs> She's got it up in her little craft room. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was that? Boris. Boris. Oh, you gave it to her? Yeah. Ooh. I've got a well, I've just got a box full of all the paintings that we've done ever since we started this Zooming. So have I, yeah. Uh, I thought, well, if somebody wants them, they're welcome. <laughs> huh. It's nice to look back on occasionally. I have a look back. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was okay, or that was crap. <laughs> mm. but, yeah, um, yeah. No, no I was quite happy with Boris, but I was not... Um, not nearly as happy as Debbie was. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a nice couple of pictures come up here. Lynn's in Greece. Hang on. Can you see them? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Move, move it in. That's right. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Nice, isn't yeah. it? Look at the colours. Yeah. yeah. No, we don't want to paint that one. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Azure blue. We've got some good ones coming up. There's some. Um... One of them is um, I put up last night is um, what are those things called pansies flowers. Oh right. Okay. From um, there was a Marilyn Alice one. I put that picture up as a challenge to people, and I thought hmm, I know a, f a few people that might like to take, accept that. Yeah. So, I quite fancy doing a nice sort of modern Times Square night times New Yorky sort of thing. Oh gosh, yeah. Mm. I know what you mean with all the lights. <laughs> that sounds busy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it might just be one that I play with on my own sort of thing. But well, if you find an image and send it to me, we'll all do it. But I think that would um Using that way we did the portraits, well, I started to do portraits by, um, you know, having a bit of fun with colour first. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Splashing it all yeah, over. Yeah. Let it go bone dry, then mm. sketch the buildings. Then you only need yeah. like two or three colours. Yeah. 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 And perhaps that's one of the things, mm. just to pick out any highlights, and it'll yeah, look I'll really get nice. Some pens now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't go too mad. Yeah, the white. My downstairs know. toilet is a New York themed. Yeah, <laughs> I do like that picture. I know what you mean, but then you've got to get all the reflection in the water, haven't you? Yeah, <clears throat> of, yeah but we I don't. Think, um, I think acrylics would be a bit easier than watercolor for that, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You did the London. You did the London one. I didn't do that one many moons ago. Right. Didn't. Still got that. I love that picture. Yeah, that was when I I don't know why I never got around to doing that. Must yes, an artist, I've forgotten what his name. My brother showed it and he does it, it's really good. He does it all in grey and then just they adds a little bit of colour. Colour. I'll have to yeah. ask him again because I yeah. I mean all his pictures, he does them in grey. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. then just a little pop of colour. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> 
just monotone. Mm. Yeah. Right. And then just emphasize. Even that sounds logical and straightforward, but of it's course you've not. got that mammoth decision. <laughs> Which mm. bit do I put the color on? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he does. I don't think he draws anything. He just goes ahead and paints it. And I thought, oh gosh, it's really clever. Mm. Um, got to be good. <clears throat> the thing i find is that nearly all these painters are sort of work in progress mm. you know every time like chrissy says you go back for him and you think oh that's mm, mm, or whatever oh, that's all right. something will catch your eye but all of them you think well i just want another half hour of doing that or that you know tidy mm. this up so mm. it's, I'm I'm the same on that, but at some point you've got to say, well, but the we're up to the you, you get to the point to, to where you can think that, which is great. The, like today, you, I'm at the point with that when it dries back, I'll look back on it and I think, oh, it just needs this, this, and that, or oh, just lift that off and what that off. But that goes on at, on every page of ad for an item you just need mm. to get to to get to that stage where i'm at today it's the hard bit the easy bit is you know putting a little bit of um extra color here blue in the sky that area and lifting a bit off mm. i mean that's the easy bit those are but it's the under you know you've got to have that underlying base to, to do it with which is the key bit. Right. Less is more. Mm. More often yeah. than not. Today, I was seriously considering doing the seascape the same way as I was, I'm doing the portraits, you know, spend the day before putting bits yeah. of random colour all over the place, squishing it about and blowing it, letting that bone dry and then painting that on top of it and see what happens. Yeah, that's, mm. that's an idea. Mm. <laughs> well, it's food for thought. Yeah. Well, I don't okay. know what, there's, there's got to be more mileage. I mean, last week's Boris was, was a good start, but there has to be more mileage in that. I think the one I did, I, I utilised too much of traditional things. Should have left more of that background in, mm. uh, that, that colour. Yeah. But that's that'll come with practice. But it's got to be more mileage in that. That the picture looks, if Boris, the Boris picture looked really good with all that stuff in the background initially. Then mm. surely a landscape or some other, mm. you know, it's got to be. Yeah. Got to be able to do the same. Just have a good. Yeah, well, we'll pick our moment. I but certainly the, um, the brush show paints. They were. They were really good fun. Well, they'll they'll be good on the the pansies. Yeah, you have to wear you have to wear um, you have to wear gloves, latex gloves, but so don't have stain. It's very what very pure. It's pure pigment. It's um, yeah. I've got them in front of me. Oh, I see. Oh, right. Okay. And they come in little. The little plastic doodads. Oh, I see. So, you, what do you do? Just dab your brush in and. Yeah, I don't know if you can. Yeah, it. it's like know. a little powder. Mm. It oh, is. I I like it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just pure powder, and I've just tipped some down the front of me lap. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> if you, and then oh, you, well. you activate it, you, it and it just yeah. goes whoosh. Yes. Yeah. You put it on dry. dry it out. <laughs> you put it on dry first, do you? And then put the water or wet the paper and put it on dry. Yeah. Yeah, I did yeah, what I did when I did <laughs> forest was just wet the paper and then you just just put tiny little I've got a tiny little little pack well corner of a palette knife. And it's just like little grains of pepper almost and just and it just explodes into colour. Oh, yeah, oh, that's good. Mm. Yeah, it's good fun. It's yeah, good. different. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pastels on speed, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's really, really, really vibrant. Yeah. Just got that daft bit. There are some pastels that do a similar thing. They they, they come in those pads, don't there's little rain, like little makeup um, powder puffs, little ones. <laughs> And you take this off, and they they work the same, similar way. They're very strong. Right. I don't know what they're called. I'm just um, as I got this bit of uh, as I got a bit of this bit of powder now, I'll just see if I can show you what it does. Um, I don't want to use my fingers. I think as I've just spilt it. Right. So there's the plain bit of wet paper. Mm -hmm. God, trouble is it's drying so blinking quick. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what I was thinking earlier. Really. Got it all there. <laughs> yeah. And I just sprayed oh, it. Oh right. All right. Well, it's like when we scraped the pastels, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same, same yeah. sort of effect, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Using the using the bits of um yeah yeah, yeah it's very much like that but it is just but it's so intense pretty. yeah see that that's the very intense oh my wow. god yeah it's, wow. tiny yeah. Little bit well, of, yeah it's just literally yeah a little oh. tiny bit that oh yeah i spilled you could soon muck your painting up with that, couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. That's that's oh. why I think, like Dave said, do all that before as a yeah. background. And yeah. you can keep spraying it and brushing it and lift it off if you want to. Sounds and good. Yeah, and you can sort of add different colours to it. Mm. I don't even know what that one was. <laughs> it was bright, <laughs> greeny, yellowy. Yeah. Yeah, but it's bright orange when you when it comes out the pot. Oh, right. really? Great. Yeah, good job at Tower Show. So I'm going to try another tiny little bit of purple. Oh, wow. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's right up my street. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good fun. It is good fun. And it, of course, it's. It's so intense, it's going to last forever. It won't cheat, but there we go. What is? What is? Yeah. Mm. I'm going to get some of these boring ones and have a go with Molly in the holiday out in the garden. See yeah. what happens. You know? yeah. yeah. I don't know which ones are the best ones to buy. I just get the ones that are already made up. Yeah. So, yeah. goodness knows, I'll show you what we do when we yeah. get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I look forward to that. Anyway, I've got to go. I've got to go. Yeah, and, have, yeah. Yeah, I've got to go and pick up a rabbit hutch for a friend. Oh right. She can't get it in her car, so my car happens to be empty at the moment. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully it'll fit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, have fun, everybody. Yeah. You thank you. Day. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks very much, Dave. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Dave. See you next bye. Week. Yeah. Bye. Okay, then. Bye. 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 Cheers, guys. Bye. Here we are on a Wednesday morning. <laughs> Just a little. Yes. Yeah. Just a little bit more of a. Sometimes when you get. Sometimes when you get up and look the next day, you think, oh, I don't know, I need to do this, I need to do that. So what I've done is I've just taken a few bits out. Now what I've done, I've used this, this really, it's a wash brush, what is it? Uh, Terry Harrison, Golden Leaf. It's a serious bit of brush, and I love it. Um, and what I've done is I've, the sea and the sand. The other thing I did, and I'm doing the course of doing, is to rehydrate this palette. Get my spray. Wait. 
so hot here, everything dries up so quickly. What I've done, I've added a little teeny little bit of Naples yellow, which is that one in there, in this St. Peter's. They're all St. Petersburg paints. I've just got one massive great palette and added a little bit of flesh, I'll show you. So a little bit of Naples yellow. And I've got this fleshy mocha color here. It's more of an off pink really. And I've just added it a bit into the sky here and there, very subtly. Thinking about it, I'll probably um, now it's dry. I'm going to utilize it. Well, I've already put a little bit anyway. Oops, don't know where I was going there. Just going to put a few little wash of it on the sea. Because obviously the sea wants to reflect colour from the sky. Could do it all over, but I'm going to put a few bits of it in. And I'm just going to tease a bit on the island as well. I haven't scrubbed the island yet. Such a nice colour. Still using this. Come up that bit on the foreshore of Wales. It's lovely, the subtle colour. Oh dear. And very light wash of it over the sand beach. Now, one thing I'm going to do today. This morning is raise the beach right up in my palette. I've got a colour called dune, which effectively is sand. So I'm just going to keep going out until I feel. So yesterday I thought the um, the sea or the water was too low. I want it to be thinner. The actual space of it. So I'm just going to use this to make a statement. Probably better off using um. Got it. A one-inch flat brush. Actually, it makes it more confident when you're um drawing a straight line. And the sky. Now I've done, I've made some areas of the sky more dramatic. What's the word? A little bit more, a little brighter, a little bit more meaningful. So now my next, I should be able to do this. Probably this palette's never worked out how to hold one probably would be fun. I always end up doing it like that, which is not right. You're supposed to thumb through it, I think, and rest it on your arm, perhaps. Something like that. And you can move it around. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't feel comfortable, so I'm going to stick with my normal way. Um, mix up some more of my sky colour, the, the, the shadowy colour, which is the lovely bit of blue. This is a blend, as I've said before, of cobalt on one half of the palette and the well, and ultramarine on the other, just the way I am. I'll just add a bit of burnt sienna into there. See if I can get a really deep. Just 
right wash well nice sort of grey tone more blue add some more water Just get it nice and thin and now I'm going to make the sky nice and damp with some clean water see if I can drop some of this in I'm not going to soak it like I did yesterday I'm just going to Rush the brush across so I've got just enough water for it to stay nice and soft without affecting what's already underneath. Well, that's my theory. I just want to add more tone to this area, and obviously, this is. Goes down a bit as well. It is running a little bit, quite a lot actually. <laughs> Just want to add a bit more drama to the sky. You'll never completely copy the or reproduce the sky that's there. Just thought it needed more, more action in this corner. As it gets really weaker, I'll put it over this side as well. Try and leave a little bit of the underneath colour. Don't want to go too far over there. To leave. It's okay. Just build it up a bit. That's what I wanted to do, really. Now I'm going to let that dry off naturally. Still a bit more on this edge. Just let it dry off. Nice and softly. Got grey there, but out there, just perhaps a little bit along the edge of this, just to define there's a cloudy area, goes right across, right, she use a bit of tissue just to, I can find some, feel like a Ah, there is some. Just a little bit of tissue. Straight edge of the tissue and just reaffirm that edge. It's like a dividing line between the sky. But it's quite a straight line, isn't it? It goes right across. Just soak up any water. Stop it running. Just want a nice straightish line. A distinct stop where the shadow stops. It's a bit lower, <clears throat> a bit further down, but hey, -ho, not too bad. I might put another one just there. That'll do. We'll let that dry off. See what how it goes. This heat that we're having this one it won't take long to do either. Well, I'll be back. Excuse me. It's sort of dried off nicely. Nicely. And just use a bit more of that. Grey mixed up. Still got plenty left. I think I'll put a little piece of paper over the a bit of tissue I'll probably do over the sky. So many times I put the palette down on the sky <laughs> and this paint or something under the palette. There you go. Let's try that. 
got a nice small brush. I think it's a number three. It's a sable as well. Oh, blimey. Didn't even know I had that. Just going to add a little bit of information, detail, call it what you like, to the water. I'll add a little bit of burnt amber into that mix because that'll sort of warm it up a bit, reflect the sky as well. Bit of blue. It's just a, a warmer grey. where I've put the light, the yellow mix that I mixed there, and sort of oh, I'm just going to miss that. I haven't wet the paper this time either. So it's almost dry, but it's sort of dry brushwork as such. What I tend to do is load the brush up like that and keep going as long as I can. And try and find some sparkle waves. And don't forget, you can use clean water. And then if you've got a strong piece of colour, just underneath, soften it, soften it down. And avoid the. I've got sort of yellow spark, yellow from the sky that I put in. I'm just trying to keep some of that. Still, I think it's. I think that's almost it. That's about as. I'm going to keep this bit at the front. Just add in some. Darker bits to make it look like this. The waves are turning over. Mm -hmm. Keep those. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. There was a dark edge along the foreshore where it meets the sand. And then two minds about the beach, how dark to do it and all the rest of it. I'm going to have to go and have a lie down and think about it. <laughs> oh dear. A bit more blue. Once you get a rigger in your hand, you just keep finding Little bits to becomes a part of your hand. And it's really difficult to stop using it. Stop I'm talking to stop. But I haven't looked at the picture of the reference photo for quite a while. Just need a bit more over this side. A bit of a more of a smoother. Smooth. It's reflecting. The, Shadow from that sky out there. A bit more, a bit more. Side of it. I'm sort of scrubbing the brush really, and I? It's unusual for me. Try and leave a few white areas. It's a bit better. 
Bit of clean water. It's not hard to just, just soften these. Maybe just a little bit more in the middle. Continuity. Not too bad. I think I'll let that dry off now. So we'll paint a bit, stop, dry. Maybe put a bit more. He drops on the very front. Waves, just drop it in and then stop. So definitely, definitely not like waves now. You use that one color really, that dark color. Yeah, we'll just let that dry off now, see how that feels. It's getting there, slowly, but surely. Probably make these a bit darker, actually, yeah. Some of these areas. But my main task now, I think, is to have a good think about the beach. Use a flat brush. Mix up some colour. Just think it needs more of that goldy feel to it underneath as an under colour. So that's more, that's a little bit of raw sienna there. I haven't got. It's been, or if you. Got a little bit of Naples yellow, like I have over there. I'm going to put a wash of that over the sand or some more of it. So I want it to, it's all about layers, isn't it? But I was hoping I could get a little bit of that light, golden sort of light coming through when I put the dark on in a minute. So it's a bit of Naples yellow. A little bit of this colour here. It's a sort of flesh tone. If you've got flesh, it will do the similar job. I think that colour is actually called mocha, as in mocha coffee. But it's a St. Petersburg colour that I use a lot of. That's that bit. My next target is to mix up a whole load of sky grey brown colour. Sorry, brown as in using raw sienna, burnt sienna rather, and blue, and a hint of burnt umber over that side of the part. Soaks up so much paint, this brush. I'm just going to add this to the beach area. I've emptied that. I was using that brush just to take all the paint out of it. And now I've got the back to my flat brush. And I just want to blend that in initially you could actually spray it see what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this sort of goldish under color coming through Ooh, see if I can get a nice Clean line for you. A bit more burnt umber, I think, and a bit more blue. So I need a lot of this. Turn. Good 
good exercise in brush technique for sure. I'm not going to make the make it pitch black. I just don't think it's going to work. It has to reflect the sky to a certain degree. And I think it's the print that's um, making everything burnt umber and blue. He says sticking his brush in the green, burnt umber and blue a bit more. Blue will make it go really dark. Try and just miss some of those goldy bits. It's quite nice there. It looks like a little bit of um, grass, sort of beach fern. Didn't need to do that. Never mind, it's gone up there now, so I can't do much about it. Just use the um, change brush to the one little squirrel one so it's got a nice fine point on it so I can direct uh, this really dark burnt number and blue which is my standard my go-to real dark color anyway Ooh. just put a few streaks of that on I'm not gonna... It's got such a fine point on it that I can just very lightly, gently lay in some darkest lines. I think I'd be better off sat down to do this, but there's something on the chair, so I can't get there. And I'm, I'm in the flow now, so I can't stop and move stuff around going down that road. Very good. Love it. Stand back, have a look. A bit rigger, find a rigger. Got a purple handle. Again, sticking with this burnt amber and blue to give me the real dark. There's, yeah, again, keep going in here, which is green. Yeah, it's it's a dark in it, and um, I might just stick a few extra darks on the wings, crust of these wings. Just using the rigger. On all of, not on all of them, just intermittently. So it's, that's a little bit of detail to it. And, and I think I'm, I'm almost there, man. I'm definitely a lot happier than I was first thing this morning. So when you get um, light, this sort of ethereal light like this is it's very difficult sometimes to tell where the one part of the image starts and one finishes. A bit more blue, a bit more burnt umber. Just try to make this solid. There you go. Happy? Yeah, happier. A little bit more water, I think. More dark, burnt number, blue. So you get a really dark, dark. Just trying to add a little bit more focus to this area. Bit of clean water on top of that. Soften it down. Soften down, Dave. Soften down. Yeah, not too bad. A couple of crispy but dark bits floating around here. I want to go too dark at the back because it's recedes, doesn't it? We don't want to, if I make it dark, it'll bring it forward, which I don't want to do. 
It's a lot better than it was. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Happier. So it's a bit of a video, did so it's a Brucey bonus, a Davy bonus. Yeah. See, I've got more, more light. I could still add more from here if I wanted to, but. That'd be tinkering, wouldn't it? Maybe just a smidgen on the island. Just a smidgen. Let's take a bit of the edge off. Looks like it's got a line on it. I don't know. There you go. Leave it. Leave it. Like I said it has got a little bit of a dry back, run back next to it. Just along here, there's a couple, just clean water on a brush. And just soften them down. And if you're, you can use the bit of tissue just to lift it out once it's soft. Clean water. Give it a little rough bit of tissue and just lift it off a bit. That's a bit of sparkle to it. It's still there. It's really annoying me now. <laughs> maybe it's a hair. Mm, maybe. That's better. As it dries, they these little hard lines tend to flare up. Yep. Welcome to Western Supermare. You could. Um, well, shy, shall I? Put a post on the actual picture. If you zoom in on it, there are white posts. But obviously, at the front going along here like this. I'm not going to put them in. I, I like the subtlety of that. Obviously, the, you could put figure in walking along the beach, planet like that. But I, I like the simpleness the solid solitude whatever the you know the, this is what you walk there to see this sort of view isn't it the sort of oh that's lovely sort of thing you know? <laughs> the feel good i've had, had a hard day at the office i just want to chill out and enjoy the view and wave to the people over in wales yeah i'm going to leave that not bad for an hour or so. Sort it.